We saw in last video how to handle a situation when the user doesn't select anything when asked to select the fence polyline. Now we will be handling the situation when user selects some entity other than polyline. Let's start. This if block checks if user has selected some entity or not. If user hasn't selected any entity, the function exits. We will be adding another if block for checking if the type of selected entity is LW polyline. PLY here contains a list. First element of the list is entity name and second is the point at which the entity was selected. Car of PLY returns the first element of the list, that is, the entity name. Ain't get takes entity name returned by car PLY and returns a nested list containing all the data of the entity. We will be adding breakpoint on this line and will inspect all the variable values and get more insights. A soak of zero takes a nested list containing entity data and returns sublists whose first element is zero. CDR function here takes a list as an argument. First element of this list is zero, and the second one is the type of entity, like line, polyline, circle, etc. And it returns the second element, that is, the entity type. EQ function checks if the type of entity selected by user is LW polyline. And finally, the if function executes the first block of the if block, if the selected entity is not LW polyline. If the entity selected by the user is not LW polyline, an appropriate message is printed and the function exits.
Let's now run the code and explore its working. This is the newly added function we are going to test. And this is the AutoCAD drawing. This time, we are going to select a circle instead of the fence polyline. Breakpoint is added at line number 21. From Run drop down menu, select Start Debugging. Select the AutoCAD process from the drop down. Click on the flickering AutoCAD icon in the taskbar and open AutoCAD. You can now see a prompt asking user to select a polyline. Now, instead of selecting polyline, select one circle representing a tree. Code execution halted at the breakpoint on line number 12. We will now stop here for some time and see what can be done at this halted state. When we hover mouse over any variable in this autolisp file, value of that variable is displayed in a pop-up. If the variable contains a list, all the elements of that list are displayed in the pop-up. This is the call stack. You can see here, how the code reached at the current line. More about this in some later video. Now, select the expression car PLY, and then select evaluate in debug console, from the right click context menu. As you can see, value of car of PLY, which is the entire name, is evaluated in the console. Next, do the same thing for int get of car of PLY. You will get the list containing entire entity data. As you can see, the list with first element as 0, will contain the entity name. Strictly speaking, this is not the list, but it's a dotted pair. More about this in later video.
Do the same thing for outer and outer expression in this line. Ultimately, you will find, that the most outer, if, evaluates to, true, and thus, the block for true part will get executed, and the function will exit. You can see the message, invalid selection. Please select a polyline, printed in the debug console. The same message will be seen, in the AutoCAD text area, as well.